What's up guys, how you doing? Welcome to another video. So today, we are talking Instagram. As you might be able to see from the logo in the background right there, we are talking about Instagram today. So I did a video on Instagram just a couple of weeks ago about the best settings to use when you're loading photos onto Instagram. And that got me thinking a little bit about my Instagram accounts. You guys probably know already, I run three Instagram accounts currently. They are, I'm gonna put them all right here on the screen. They are Rob Samble Sports, Rob Sambles and Scorchers Photog. I've put Rob Sambles Sport at the top for a reason because that is the main account that we're looking at for the purposes of this video. Now, by the time you guys see this, the experiment that we are gonna run through the course of the next seven days will already be complete. So all of the photos that I'm gonna be talking about in this video saying I'm going to post these and I intend on doing these, all that will have been done by the time you guys see this. So make sure you go check out at Rob Sample Sport and you can see all the photos that we're gonna talk about in this video. Before I get into the video itself, I'm gonna ask you to do two things for me. Two things to help me out because you are all friends of mine. I'm gonna ask you first of all to go hit the like button on this video. It helps me out loads, it helps out my channel and I really, really appreciate it. Second of all, to all of you guys who are new to my channel and my stats according to my YouTube analytics tell me that 60% of my viewers do not currently subscribe to my channel. So I'm gonna ask 60% of you to hit that subscribe button right there. Loads of other videos to come on my channel which I think you will find interesting. So what's the purpose of today's video? I thought we would do some experiments. Now you hear so much talk about Instagram followers. What can I do to get more followers? People message me all the time saying, hey, we can help you get 10,000 followers. Follow our page. You know, pay us this money and we'll get you a million followers and, and all this kind of stuff. And I'll be totally honest, I haven't really ever done Instagram for the followers. That's not the idea. I talk about my Instagram pages in these videos because they're the place that I share my photos. So I want you guys to go and see them. And I want to engage with people and I want people to see my sports photos. But in all honesty, I'm not necessarily worried about the number of followers I've got. But all that said, this video is going to be to see how many more followers we can drive for my channel. <laughs> how backwards does that sound? <laughs> That's the idea of this week's experiment, because I thought it would be really, really interesting. You see all these people and all these different theories, and I did a quick bit of research myself. There are so many theories on how you drive more followers for Instagram. So I thought we'd give it a go. There's not much photo work going on right now, although fortunately lots of sports are due to start back very soon. But for the next seven days, my calendar is not looking too busy. So I thought we would run a seven day experiment. Right Right now it's Friday night, you guys are seeing this video on Friday, but I actually filmed it the previous Friday. So over the course of the next seven days, starting tomorrow morning on Saturday, I am going to run this seven day experiment to see how many additional followers we can drive on my at Rob Sample Sport Instagram page. So how am I gonna do that? Well, I've got a very simple strategy, which to be honest, I've pulled together 50% myself and 50% through Googling a little bit of advice on what you should do to increase your Instagram followers. I thought it'd be good to do this because I know loads of you guys are interested in growing your Instagram accounts and you want to try and get your work out there. And especially people who, who talk to me about their portfolios and how do they get their work seen. Well, actually social media is a big part of that. And when I was first growing into sports photography, my Instagram page, and in fact also this YouTube channel, was a big part of kind of how I got my name out there a little bit in terms of my sports photography work. So I thought it might be useful for some of you guys to see whether or not this works. Now we might get to the end of the week and we might have five extra followers we might have gone backwards we might have annoyed so many people with the extra photos that people unfollow me but fingers crossed that won't happen otherwise this would be a really really bad video so yeah hopefully that won't happen <laughs> let's go over the next seven days right how are we going to do this so the main theories out there on how you go about organically growing your Instagram channel. Now that's the first thing to say. This is gonna be organic. I'm absolutely not paying any money for fake followers. I've got no interest in having fake followers. I can't see the point of that. I'm not gonna be going through any kind of like agency support or basically anything where I pay anybody to do anything for me. We're gonna do this entirely myself and I'm gonna do it all through my Instagram account. Now, first of all, and perhaps the most obvious thing that I'm going to do 
do is I'm going to post a fair few photos. I'm going to post photos three times per day for the next seven days. I'm going to do it at all different times. They won't be at the same times each day. I want to try to get you know, different times of the day around the world, because of course our Instagram followers come from all around the world. So I want to be posting at prime times in, in America, in Europe and in Asia. So I'm gonna be playing with all different times of the day as far as the posts go. But the important thing is that I will post three photos per day. I've chosen those photos already. I've got 21 photos lined up and I've deliberately done it. So they are a mix of sports, a mix of sports, a mix of teams, so that I can use lots of different hashtags with the photos, tagging in different teams to hopefully drive interest from different parts of the relevant sporting world whether it's a football photo basketball photo netball photo whatever it might be the other thing to say about those photos is I will be posting all of those photos in line with the settings that I talked about in my other Instagram video a couple of weeks ago. If you haven't seen that video, don't worry, I'm going to link it at the end of this one, so you better go back and watch that. But long story short, all the images will be a 5 by 4 aspect ratio. They've all got a width of 1080 pixels, which I've deliberately done to try to get as much real estate on that page on the Instagram feed that I possibly can. So, posting photos. Okay, great. What what else are we going to do? So another key strategy that people always talk about is to make sure you are active within the community on Instagram that you want to be a part of. And of course, for my channel, that's sports photography. So I've got two steps to this next part. Number one, I'm going to be going and looking at photos in line with certain hashtags. Now I've picked four hashtags that I'm going to predominantly be working with. Those hashtags are hashtag sports photography, hashtag sports photography, photographer, hashtag basketball photography, and hashtag football photography. Now, of course, the football photography one could link to football, like I would call football soccer, could also link to American football as well. Doesn't really matter because I've got followers from lots across the States and also in Europe too. So every day I will be searching those four hashtags and I will be going through and looking at all the photos with those hashtags and liking loads of them. Now, of course, I'm going to do it honestly. I'm going to like the photos that I like. I'm not just going to blindly like all of them in the list, but I'm going to like the photos that I like through that hashtag. You can see right here, if you go on and search sports photography, for example, loads and loads of photos come up in the feed and you can go through those and you can like the ones that you think look great. My plan will be to make sure that I like at least 50 photos per day, a mix across those hashtags, 50 photos per day for each of the next seven days. Those of you who are quick with your maths, that means that over the course of the next week, I will be liking 350 photos that are linked to one of those four hashtags. The other thing that I'm going to be doing to make sure I'm active is I will be commenting on some photo. So also within those hashtags, I'm I'm going to make sure that I pick out some photos that I like and I'm going to comment on them. I'm not going to be the, the bot that does the generic comment of like nice shot emoji. I'm going to make sure that I have a purposeful comment about that shot, something to do with it, something that I liked about it. And I'm going to make sure that I comment on at least 10 photos per day that also will come from some of those four hashtags that I'm looking at. So, so far we're liking 50 photos per day and we're commenting on 10 photos per day. And the next thing that I'm going to do to make sure I'm active in that Instagram community is I'm going to be following other people. The plan will be for me to follow five new people every day. So that's five. It's going to be quite important that those are five people who don't already follow me. And of course, I will hope to find them within in some of those hashtags. It might be that some days I see something on a feed that I like and I just click on it anyway. It doesn't really matter. I'm not necessarily going to be strict about following those five people within sports photography, but I will be following five people each day who I don't currently follow. Those of you guys who already follow me, don't worry, at the same time, I'm gonna be adding a couple of new follows every time for people who do currently follow me because I wanna make sure I share the love within the community. I'm not gonna go follow a whole ton load of new people and not follow any of you guys. I'll make sure I'm following some of the people who currently follow me at the same time. So I think the last thing to do right now is to just have a look at where we currently stand on my Instagram page. So if we go onto my Instagram right now, of course, as I said, we're looking at the at Rob Sandal Sport account. As of right now, as you guys can see on the screen right here, I have 783 followers. So that's the benchmark. We're starting Friday night or Saturday morning will be when I first start doing this. We have 783 followers. 
it'll be interesting to see where we are in seven days time. So in the meantime, I need to go crack on and like some photos or at least I need to get a good night's sleep ready for tomorrow morning because I'm going to wake up and I'm going to be Instagramming. <laughs> and I will see you guys tomorrow. What's up guys? Good morning. It's Saturday morning so got myself coffee, need it, feel tired this morning. I don't know why, it's not even that early, I'm just knackered. Gonna get on and do some Instagramming. So remember I've got to like some photos, I've got to comment on some photos and I need to go follow some new people. So let's crack on with that. First things first though, I need to put up my first post for today, my first of three posts. Gonna start with a basketball shot. I've got a nice one of Skylar White, um, like kind of screaming after a big play for Surrey Scorchers, which I thought would be a good photo to start off with. Gonna put that one on the Instagram account. If you guys go check it out, you better see that about seven days ago so go check it out and you will notice that that was the first of three posts on Saturday right let's get on and do some of this Instagramming let's go Pretty much done just for now. So we have liked uh, about 30 photos. I've still got another 20 photos to like through the course of today. I've already followed five new people and I already commented on 10 sports photos that I liked. So done a fair bit this morning. Posted my first image as well. So I've got a few hours now just to crack on with my day. Then I'll post a second image. I probably won't show you guys that one. I will catch up with you this evening once we post all three and I will let you know how our first day went. I'll see you guys then. What's up guys? So it is actually now Monday. So I cracked on over the weekend and did exactly what we said. I have been posting three images every single day. I've been out there, I've been liking loads of photos, 50 photos per day to be precise. I've been following five new people per day and I've been commenting on at least, at least 10, maybe even 15 or 20 photos per day so it seems to be working so far i won't give away the exact numbers of how many followers i've gained so far because i want to do all that at the end of the video so you can literally see the difference from like where i started to where we took it to but let's just say i have gained um a few I've gained a few. Now, there's a couple of things that I've noticed that I think seem to be working slightly better than others. And so I'm going to increase focus on some of those things. And I also thought of a couple of new things that I'm going to do as well through the rest of this week. So first up, it seems to me, my observation is that the people whose photos I'm commenting on seem to be the ones who are more likely to then come and follow my account. So that piece of interaction seems to be working really, really, really well, much more successful than just the liking photos that I was obviously focusing on the most. So I'm going to try and do a bit more of that. I'm going to try to comment on about 20 photos per day and I'll probably bring down the likes from 50 per day to about 40 per day so we can see how that's working out. The other thing which occurred to me now actually my most liked photo on this account is one of the England netball team at the netball world cup in Liverpool last year. I posted this photo right here. It's my most liked photo on this account and that's because I tagged all of the players and a couple of them then shared that post in their stories and that drove loads of followers towards my account. So that got me thinking. I need to make sure that every time I'm posting a photo of an athlete, of a sports person, I need to do a few things. I need to A, make sure I tag them in the photo. B, I need to make sure I'm tagging their team or the organisation that they play for. And C, I'm going to try and find a few fan accounts and tag those in the post as well. For example, I posted a photo this morning of Ovi Soko, a basketball player who plays for GB basketball team. But at the same time, he's also appeared on Love Island. So he's quite a famous celebrity in his own sense. So when I posted that photo this morning, I made sure to tag a few of his fan accounts in the hope that they would then share that post on into their stories. I'll be honest they haven't with that post somebody did with one of my other posts from yesterday and hopefully that's helped something else which i've picked up on is that it's definitely working and posting some photos of different sports now of course a lot of my account are photos of either football or basketball i have some netball mixed in there but mostly football and basketball so it doesn't surprise me that when i look at the insights of some of my posts from yesterday 
I had a post, for example, of Manuel Neuer, the goalkeeper from Bayern Munich. Now, that post reached 357 people, according to the insights here, which is great, but only 10% of them weren't already following me. And of course, that 10% is only then 35 people, and that only gives me 35 potential followers. Now, looking at that, I actually had zero followers come from that post. If I compare that with something else, I had a netball post that went up yesterday. Now, that post apparently reached 537 people. But the difference here is that 41% of those people weren't following my account already. So 41%, that's best part of 200 people. And that, of course, gives me much more chance for new people to follow my account. And I actually had three new followers come from that post. So that tells me I need to make sure I'm diversifying the sports that I'm showing. I'm actually going to try and dig out a couple of different photos, perhaps mixing a little bit of rugby, maybe a bit of hockey, lacrosse I've got some photos of, motorsport. So over the course of the next few days, and when you guys look back on the account, you'll see from this point on, I've tried to mix the sports a little bit more, as well, of course, sticking with the core football basketball that my account has been built on. So as I said, right now we're Monday. We've still got another five days of this to go. So I'm going to crack on, keep going tomorrow morning, and I'll update you guys in another couple of days, and we'll see how we're getting on. Just going to keep on plugging through with that renewed focus that I just talked about, and we'll see how we go in a couple of days. Guys, I'll see you then. And just like that, it is Thursday. So we have got one day left. We've got 24 hours left in this experiment. And, um, cool, how do I feel? We're going okay, we're going okay. The, the stuff I've been doing seems to be working. Um, the being kind of more active in the community stuff definitely seems to be working. I think posting more often is certainly giving me an opportunity to be more active and it means that the people I'm engaging with when they're then looking at my account, they can see fresh content and that's really helping. But the piece that seems to be most useful so far is the really active participation in the community. And by that, I mean like following other people, commenting on other people's photos, of course, combined with liking the photos that I was doing loads of already. So we got 24 hours. That's what we're going to concentrate on. I've just posted a basketball photo right now. This one right here, I'll put it on the screen. I've got a few other photos still to come. I've got some other stuff. I've got some netball stuff I'm going to do. I've got some football. Uh, I've got hockey. I've got motorsport. So again, like I said the other day, trying a few more different bits with the hockey and the motorsport that will come on through the course of these next 24 hours. Got another few photos to go and I will catch up with you guys and I will give you the full insights on Friday, which is tomorrow. And just like that, with the switch of a lens cap, 24 hours has passed. We are now Friday, Friday mid-afternoon. And I have been posting photos on Instagram and I have been Instagramming, is that a word, Instagramming? It is now for the last seven days. Now, I'm going to share all the numbers in a second, don't worry, I'm going to share some of my findings. First of all, I thought it might be interesting for you guys to pick out like a few key kind of facts from the week. Um, so so here we go. So first of all, the, the photo that received the most likes, if you guys are interested, uh, is this photo right here, motorbike, motorsports photo, and that received 59 likes. Now, of course, that's a little bit deceptive because that one was posted a few days ago. It could be that one of the photos I posted like this morning, give it another week from now, another few few days from now that maybe could have more than that in like so it's a little bit deceptive because of course it's a photo from a few days ago so it's had more time to get likes but that was the most liked photo of the week the next thing which i found interesting um was the photo that had the most reach now reach basically kind of is how many people have seen it on their feed and that's this photo right here of helen houseby the england netball player that photo reached 601 people the photo that had the most reaches of the week quick side note if you guys are interested in seeing this kind of stuff on your own instagram you can view all of this in the insight section on each post you can see it right there i'll put it on the screen here you can see it in the bottom of your post you go into the insights button Okay, rolling on from there. Now, where we get a little bit more important, I suppose, in terms of gaining potential followers from posting photos. The photos that led to the most profile visits. So this is people who don't already follow me, who see the photo and then come and visit my profile. Two photos, and interestingly, they were both basketball photos. And that's this photo right here, of Skylar White. And this photo right here of Devontavious Payne, both Surrey Scorchers photos, and they both led to six profile visits 
each onto my page. Now, something which I found quite interesting, of all those photos I posted, only one photo in the whole week led to a new follower. And by that, I mean somebody who saw the photo, went to my profile and pressed the follow button. One, one person in the whole week. And that came from this photo right here of Ovi Soko, the British basketball player, and of course, also Love Island star. So I'm not surprised that maybe that photo generated a little bit of interest. So that's just kind of a few key highlights from, from the week, I suppose. So let's get into the detail of the big numbers. So how many followers did I get? You guys probably remember I started the week on 783 followers and we have finished the week on 827 followers. So we have gained 44 people. Now, two sides to that, I suppose. Initially, I felt a bit disappointed when I started out doing this video. I was hoping I'd gain like 100 or something at least in the week, but 44. Now, whilst that sounded bad, and I'll be honest, when I first sat down just now and been working out all the maths on this right here I was a bit disappointed I thought oh only 44 I was hoping for more but actually in reality when I break that down in seven days that is 5.6 percent growth so my number of followers has grown by 5.6 percent now if my followers had grown if I had gained 44 followers every single week since I first started that Instagram page now I started that Instagram page back in January 2018 and if we had gained 44 followers every week since that point that is a pro i worked out approximately that is 126 weeks we would have over five and a half thousand followers on that page so actually if you've got an instagram page and it gains 44 followers every week that's not bad you're going to get to five and a half thousand in the time that actually it's taken me to get to 827 so overall in terms of the growth curve on that not bad. The thing that I find really interesting is that 19 of those followers, 19 of that 44, that's nearly half, all came and followed my page within the last 24 hours. So what happened in the last 24 hours? What's the difference? In very simple terms is that I totally changed my focus. I realized yesterday when I was sat here talking to you guys that actually doing the likes and posting photos is only having a small effect. The thing that seems to be having a much bigger effect is being really active in the community. So I went out there and I followed lots of people. I followed loads of sports photographers, people that I like. I didn't just follow Randoms. I'm not up for any of that follow for follow stuff. I went and I followed lots of sports photographers. I found some football photographers, some basketball photographers, some of the NFL photographers and other things like that that I personally like. And I went and followed lots of them. I also went and commented on a ton of sports photos. I've commented on more photos in the last 24 hours than I did in the previous few days prior to that. Now that seems to have made a big difference, right? If I had grown by 19 followers every day through the course of the last week, then actually I would have gained 133 followers opposed to the 44 that I have done. Even more to the point, and I know it's not necessarily a like for like comparison, but if somebody had an Instagram page that grew by 19 followers every single day and had had it since I started that Instagram page, you would have over 16,000 followers at this stage. So 19 new followers in 24 hours is a pretty decent chunk. So what have I learned from it? Let's move into kind of almost, I guess, some conclusions. The big biggest thing that I have learned is that actually posting photos only has a small effect on the followers that you have. Now, I've got to add a caveat to this. I think it's really important that you are posting at least twice a day to, in order to have fresh content that people see all the time. Because of course the other risk is that people will unfollow you during this period of time. And I have had people unfollow my page. I've noticed obviously where I've been monitoring it every day, I've noticed at different points in the week my followers have gone backwards by one or two. And of course that's where people are unfollowing my page. So I think it's really, really important. Whilst it doesn't necessarily help to drive new followers, you've got to make sure you're posting fresh content at least a couple of times per day in order to make maintain that interest for your existing followers. Getting out there and liking photos from hashtags certainly makes a difference and I saw people whose photos I were liking come and follow my page so it definitely makes a difference but the biggest thing and like I said in the last 24 hours the biggest thing that I have noticed is making sure you're really interactive in the community. Two main things for me on that go and follow other people in the community that you want to be a part of and make sure you're commenting on photos. Ideally go for the trip 
triple whammy. Go to someone's page that you like, press some likes on two, three of their photos, comment on a photo and follow them. In my experience of doing this for the last seven days, they are then very likely to come and follow you back and potentially comment or like some of your own photos too. So what's the pros and cons to doing what I've done for the last seven days? Well, look, the, the pros really are that A, it's very easy to do. It's simple, right? There's no magic strategy. There's no agents. There's no paying money. All you've got to do is sit there and play with your Instagram. You've got to like some photos, comment on some photos, follow some people. Pretty easy to do, you know. I, I think if you were willing to, don't know, what's the phrase? Perhaps lose your integrity a little bit and go and follow 2,000 people on Instagram, chances are you probably get 1,000 followers somewhere in there because it works. Following other people certainly drives followers to your own page. However, if you're like me, you don't want to go and just pointlessly follow 2,000 people and, and turn your feed into just constant mess you, you know you want to follow people whose photos you like like I do then that isn't necessarily going to be a good strategy but of course the biggest pro there is that it's just really easy to do that rolls straight in to one of the downsides now that is that you have to spend a lot of time on Instagram I spent an awful lot of time playing with my phone doing my Instagram liking on photos commenting photos following people checking my numbers seeing where they were at versus yesterday I just generally spent a lot of time on Instagram and that led to me being antisocial on a couple of occasions honey what are you doing and of course, it just depends on how much you want to dedicate to it, right? If you're cool with that, if you're sitting at home and you want to play with your Instagram all day, crack on because that process works. It's not quick and it takes a little bit of time, but it works, right? We have grown that Instagram page by 5.6% over the course of the last seven days. And I think that probably leaves me about to the end of the video. Apart from one important thing to say, that if you have not already gone and followed that Instagram page, make sure you do it now. Go find Rob. Rob Sandville Sport on Instagram, make sure you follow along because you can see I've put in loads of effort to grow in my followers this week. I still stand by what I said at the beginning of the video. I'm not worried about the number of followers I have. So hey, if it grows from that point, great. You know, I don't have an intention of trying to push that and I'm certainly not going to carry on doing this every single week. I thought it would be a really interesting experiment for you guys. If you did find it interesting and you did like the video, I'm going to ask you to do two things for me. First of all, go hit that like button. It takes two seconds of your time and it helps me out on my video and it helps my channel load it is the biggest thank you or rob we like your channel or hey rob i appreciate the work you do the biggest single thing you can do for me is go and like the video because that helps me out loads make sure you guys comment below let me know do we have any subscribers of my channel who have big instagram numbers i would be really really interested in talking to a couple of you guys if you're out there with an instagram page with 50,000 followers i would love to chat to you um, and understand how you've done that because that potentially could be the subject of a future video so make sure you comment below make sure you subscribe if you haven't already loads of other videos to come on my channel which i'm sure you will enjoy so make sure you go hit that subscribe button if you haven't already i think that brings me about to the end of the video so i will see you guys i will see you on the next video